Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Belugina and you are watching the daily stock market review by Tradimo. Today is Monday, May 6th and the market started trading on the negative sentiment as uh, traders and investors were shocked by the revelations of the US President Donald Trump he made in his Twitter. He actually threatened to increase tariffs on uh, 200 billion dollars worth of Chinese goods from 10 to 25 percent and this statement was a very big negative surprise for the market because traders were awaiting news that America and China finally got closer to reaching a trade agreement and we now see that the parties are uh, farther away from the solution than everyone has thought. As a result, uh, the stocks dipped, volatility increased and was headed for the biggest increase this year. Treasury yields declined as the market players went into safer assets. In addition, uh, there was also news that North Korea conducted a test of nuclear weapons that is challenging Trump's statements that uh, talks with this country progress. So all of that will likely leave the market sour for some time and even though we now see that um, the stock started recovering and after testing the levels in the area of 28.90 S&P returned above 29 uh, still um, some major improvements and reassurances from the US and China will be necessary for the uptrend to continue Resistance will be located at 29.40. The markets will be monitoring economic performance and economic data. So far, the recovery may take place and we'll see some consolidation on the consideration that Trump makes a lot of um, big announcements and not of them, all of them really come true. Maybe he's trying to um, make some leverage on China here. So it is yet to be known. Um, it looks like support has been found and uh, levels around 2880 will contain the decline if nothing else bad happens but for further growth we will need some reassurance the companies uh, which are mostly exposed to china are the tech companies which have ties to this economy and machinery companies we can see that Apple stock opened with a gap to the downside. Now it is trying to close the gap and resistance will be located around 210 and 214 marks. Nvidia um, also gapped to the downside, found support around 173.90, but a major resistance will be located around 185 level and it will be kind of hard to overcome this point if we get uh, below 174 the neckline here uh, the stock will be vulnerable for decline to the area of 160 the support line and 100 day moving average among other news we need to mention Kraft Heinz company um, here the stock is under pressure as it announced that it uh, will restate financial statements for 2016 and 2017 to fix accounting errors due to the misconduct of several employees. The stock of Boeing uh, also uh, gapped down and um, the stock is closer to the support line of 200 day moving average around 363.85 the company admitted that it knew about a missing safety feature in its 737 max plane uh, which had two crashes during the last half of a year and that certainly doesn't add credibility to the stock so the consolidation may end with a break to the downside at some point as resistance get closer. Finally, there were some news related to 
the oil company Anadarko Petroleum. According to the media, Occidental Petroleum is now offering, uh, making a better offer for the company with more cash. Although the Anadarko Petroleum is still having agreement with Chevron, which um, is now stating that Chevron will buy the company. But the battle link will con continue as nothing is really decided yet. So oil stocks uh, are also interesting and can make big moves. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention and subscribe to TradingMo YouTube channel.